Today we're making cochinita pibil, uh, which is a slow roast pork dish from the Yucatan Peninsula uh, in Mexico, right at the bottom of Mexico. As Mexico goes down, it goes back up again, whoop, uh, and it's right there. I mean, I saw it on Once Upon a Time in Mexico, and Robert Rodriguez teaches you how to make it in the DVD extras. So I'm just gonna do sort of that. To make puerco uh, pibil, cochinita pibil, uh, you need to make achiote paste, um, which is main ingredient in these annatto seeds. Earthy colour seed, you just get them on Amazon. I didn't go to Mexico to get them, obviously. We're gonna start toasting our the spices here. Um, I'll put you on my head. Uh, black peppercorns, cumin seeds, and a little bit of clove. Now I would have some allspice berries in here as well. If I could find them, I could only find ground allspice, which was bitterly disappointed in. Spices that are whole and toasted and ground offer up so much more flavour than ground spices. Pre-ground spices are shit. I mean, it's almost pointless buying them, but you know, we can do. So we're gonna toast up our seeds, um, toast up our spices here, to the nice and fragrant. And then we're gonna start bashing them up and making a paste. Uh, these things are like fucking rocks, like little tiny stones, so you just gotta bash them up, like properly bash them up. I don't know how it goes. As you may be able to see from the amount of perspiration, it's, it's bloody hard. They're, they're just proper stones. It's proper like rocks. Um, it's a lot more difficult than I thought it was. Um, I haven't done it properly. I haven't done a proper job, basically, because I, it's too difficult. <laughs> it's too hard. Um, I'm really struggling. So <clears throat> we're gonna hope when we come to blend the paste together, it sort of breaks up the stones a bit more because uh, fuck if I'm gonna do any more of that. We're gonna add salt. So now dry ingredients go in here. Lovely scotch bonnets here, four of them. Uh, just remember not to touch eyes or genitals while handling hot peppers. Six or seven cloves of garlic. There we go, I think that was seven cloves. Uh, all into the blender. Uh, we're also gonna juice up five lemons. I think my juice up. Juice is always fun. Uh, let's go, let's see how we go with three. And then some white vinegar and some orange juice. About 100 mils of white vinegar. About 100 mils of orange juice as well. Pork. Pork shoulder. This is just so we can get more of the marinade. Cool. Just like that. And this was all over the meat. That's it. So everything gets a coverage. Now, now that is insultingly simple as it is, that is pretty much it. Now, like all the hard work's done, we're gonna wrap it really tightly in tin foil so none of the steam escapes. We'll roast it at 160 for four hours. It's already three o'clock. <laughs> uh, started a bit late, but you know, I forgot the most important ingredient. Fuck. The ingredient that I forgot, I don't know if this is total bollocks or not, but in the movie they had a splash of like really nice tequila. This is my nice bottle. We'll go with the flow, uh, but I'm pretty sure the flow is total bollocks. Just a splash of tequila, otherwise it's a waste, isn't it? Really? Cheers. It's probably bollocks. I mean, you take the difference, it's probably not gonna taste any different. But, what are you gonna do? We're gonna wrap this in tin foil uh, really tightly so no steam escapes. We'll cook it, roast it for four hours um, at 160. So nice and low, slow. It's 
been four hours. I haven't touched it. Coriander rice, a lemon juice, you can use lime as well. A bit of coriander. A very divisive herb. Um, just make your own decisions. Here, I'll just lay it on top. Fucking delicious. <laughs> 